Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime. Our story today is called Rod the Frog. Here's Rod. What can you tell me about him? He's green, yes. He's happy, lovely. What's that? He's got a big tummy, yes he has. And big feet too, yes. And he's got long legs, lovely. And they're strong legs too, aren't they? What can Rod do? He can swim, fantastic. He can jump, yes. And where does Rod live? Does he live in water? Yes, he does. Does he live on land? Yes, he does. Rod the Frog lives in water and on land. He's an amphibian. I'm going to show you now some other things in the story very quickly. I want you to look and see what they are and tell me in English or your own language if you don't know and remember the colours, which I know you do know in English. Are you ready? So what's this? A bird? Yes. What kind of bird? A parrot. And what about the colours? Can you remember? Do you want another quick look? Yes, red, green, blue, yellow. Lovely. So there's a red, green, blue and yellow parrot in the story. And what else is in the story? Are you ready to have a quick look? What is it? A butterfly. Fantastic. And can you remember the colours? Yellow, violet, orange. Fantastic. There's an orange, yellow and violet butterfly in the story. And what else is in the story? Are you ready to have a quick look? What is it? A witch. Yes, it's a witch. And what colour are the witch's clothes? Can you remember? Do you want another quick look? What's that? Yellow, yes, pink, orange and brown. Yes, you're right. Brown for her broomstick and yellow for her cloak, orange for her boots and hair. There's a witch in the story too. And what about this last thing in the story now? Are you ready? What is it? It's a, a rainbow. Fantastic. And what colour is the rainbow? Red, yes, yellow, orange, blue, green, violet. Fantastic. And look, there's another colour too between blue and violet and we call it indigo. Sometimes in stories there's something magic at the end of the rainbow. What can it be, do you think? Maybe there's gold, yes. Or maybe there's treasure. And what's that? Perhaps there are fairies. Or, what's that? That's a good idea. Maybe there's a witch. So, what do you think happens in the story with Rod the Frog, the Parrot, the Butterfly, the Witch and the Rainbow? I'd love to hear your ideas. What's that? Yes, maybe Rod the Frog, the Parrot and the Butterfly look for treasure at the end of the rainbow. And what's that idea? Maybe the witch does a spell and changes the colours of the rainbow. And what's that idea? That's a good idea. Maybe the witch takes the treasure at the end of the rainbow and the parrot and the butterfly help Rod the Frog to get it back. What a lot of ideas. Let's listen to the story now and find out. And I want you to be ready to answer three questions. Number one, why is Rod the Frog sad? 
Number two, what is there at the end of the rainbow? And number three, what makes Rod the Frog happy? Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Off we go. This is the story of Rod the Frog. Rod the Frog is a beautiful green frog, but he's very sad. I don't like being green. Green is horrible, he thinks. Rod sees the butterfly. Hello, Rod, says the butterfly. Why are you sad? I don't like being green, says Rod. Green is horrible. I want to be orange and yellow and violet like you. Go and see the witch at the end of the rainbow. She can change your colour. That's a good idea, says Rod. Thank you. Goodbye. Rod sees the parrot. Hello, Rod, says the parrot. Why are you sad? I don't like being green, says Rod. Green is horrible. I want to be red and yellow and blue and green like you. Go and see the witch at the end of the rainbow. She can change your colour. That's a good idea, says Rod. Thank you. Goodbye. Rod goes to the end of the rainbow. Hello, Rod, says the witch. Why are you sad? I don't like being green, says Rod. Green is horrible. I want to be orange and yellow and violet like the butterfly or red, yellow, blue and green like the parrot. Ha ha ha, says the witch. That's no problem. I can change your colour. Are you ready? One, two, three, abracadabra, whoosh, bang. Oh no, now I'm orange and yellow and violet like the butterfly. Oh no, it's horrible. Let's try again. One, two, three, Abracadabra, whoosh, bang. Oh no, now I'm red, yellow, blue and green like the parrot. Oh no, it's horrible. Please, I want to be a frog. I want to be me. I want to be green again. <clears throat> OK, Rod, but this is the last time. One, two, three, abracadabra, whoosh, bang! Are you happy now? asks the witch. Oh yes, I'm happy now. I'm a beautiful green frog again. I'm Special, I'm me. Thank you, witch. Goodbye. And that's the end of the story. So can you answer the three questions? Why is Rod the Frog sad? He doesn't like being green, exactly. He thinks green is horrible. Yes, he wants to be like the butterfly or the parrot. And question number two, what is there at the end of the rainbow? The witch, exactly. And how can the witch help Rod? She can change his colour, yes. And is Rod happy when he's like the butterfly? No, he isn't. Is Rod happy when he's like the parrot? No, he isn't. What makes Rod happy? He's happy when he's a beautiful green frog again, when he's himself, exactly. Do you like the story? 
You think it's great? You like Rod the Frog? And what's that? You understand how Rod the Frog feels. Yes, I agree. I think you're right. I think we all feel like Rod the Frog sometimes. But Rod the Frog is right, isn't he, at the end of the story, that he doesn't need to change to be special and beautiful. He just needs to be himself. And what about a rainbow? Does a rainbow change colour? No, it doesn't. It's always red and orange and yellow and green and blue. And can you remember that word for the new colour? Indigo and violet, exactly. Would you like to learn a sentence to help you remember the order of colours in a rainbow. The sentence goes like this. Ride on your green bike in a visor. Ride on your green bike in a visor. A visor is plastic that covers your face. So we have ride on your green bike in a visor. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We call a sentence like this a mnemonic. It can be very useful to help you remember things. And now I want to show you how to do a simple experiment with your mum or dad to create your own rainbow. You need a glass of water, a sheet of plain white paper and a sunny window. Ask your mum or dad to hold the glass at different angles over the paper until you can see a rainbow. Look at the rainbow carefully and name the colours. This works in the same way as the sun shining through rain to make a real rainbow. Paint a picture of your rainbow with the colours in the correct order and give your painting to your mum or dad as a thank you for looking after you during all these months without school and as a sign of hope for the future. And that's the end of our story time today. Rod the Frog is the last in my series of story videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. During the holidays, you may like to watch all 12 story videos again to practice your English and not forget everything you've learnt. Be ready to tell your teacher at the start of next term the three story videos that you like best and the reasons. I hope you have a lovely holiday. Bye for now.